guys, they're off more here back again with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years Marvel Legends Ant-Man, Ant-Man himself, and Yellow Jacket 2 pack. So let's get into it. So taking a look around the packaging, Marvel Studios up top. On the side you get a brief description from the movie, so pause if you want to read that. On the bottom it says Legend Series 8. On the other side some artwork right there with Ant-Man. On the back you get the poster with some descriptions for both of the characters, so pause if you want to read that. On the bottom you beat C, scan if you want it. And without further ado, let's get into it. Doing some size comparisons, here's Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket next to Giant Man, Ant-Man and Wasp. A couple of the 10th anniversary figures and Captain America from Infinity War. Some MCU villains, excluding the first Ant-Man, and that's pretty much it. Also comparing both of the head sculpts here from the first Ant-Man compared to the second one, pretty much the same um, head sculpt here, it's just that they use a different facial expression, which I think they nailed on the second Ant-Man version. You'd see the first one with the neutral look, kind of a smug look. The hair is glossier on the first one, as opposed to the uh, matte on the second one. And if you want, you can do some head swappage here, so that's what it looks like. But to note that once you um, put the regular the first Ant-Man on the second Ant-Man uh, body, it's it won't fit because the uh, ball hole is too small. But you could do uh, the second Ant-Man on the first Ant-Man, but it's just going to be a little loose. But I think it looks better on the first Ant-Man, or vice versa. Either way, that's a good head sculpt. You can see the second Ant-Man head sculpt on the first Ant-Man suit right there. It's quite unfortunate, but what you get and finally comparing both of these suits you could see um, how they actually nailed this one uh, with the re-release they actually covered the mouth on this uh, 10th anniversary one and comparing it to the second um, Ant-Man film or Ant-Man and the Wasp you could see how the Ant-Man and the Wasp is more streamlined but uh, personally I do like the uh, first Ant-Man suit Okay, so moving over to their accessories here, starting off with the yellow jacket. He comes with the shrunken down version of himself. Uh, pretty basic uh, figure here, very minimal detail. Some yellow uh, uh, spots right there, but you can tell that this is the yellow jacket. And compared to the shrunken down version of Ant-Man, same thing. Got some, some very f minor sculpts that you could tell this is Ant-Man and some paint details and he can't stand up which is quite unfortunate. Other than these two accessories the Ant-Man comes with the Paul Rudd head sculpt and that's pretty much it for these guys accessories. So taking a closer look at the Paul Rudd head sculpt you could see very good likeness to Paul Rudd. Uh, there's a Paul Rudd in there somewhere. I think the second Ant-Man uh, head sculpt is a little bit better because it kind of captures the quirkiness and the um, kind of the f the fun of Paul Rudd, the essence of him. Uh, this one's just uh, okay. Um, and just demonstrating the articulation here, moving the head up. You can see the range right there and moving the head side to side or the tilty shifty head movement you can get some tilt right there if you want to it's just really really nice um really nice head sculpt unfortunately you couldn't fit it on the second ant-man one unless you hair dryer it up and make the um, ball hole looser but yeah you can see the um, head sculpt here for ant-man i think it's just wonderful it's spot on uh, opposed to the first release of this guy uh, the first release, they had the open mouth, which I didn't like, and wasn't even accurate to the movie, uh, probably to the comics, but um, yeah, so I, I skipped out on that one, but this one is just amazing. You see the sculpting details, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you've already seen this suit before in many reviews, just showing it. You can see they even got the button there on the finger, the pointer finger right there. I just overall think this is a more better suit because of the details and you can see right there it's more simpler there's no like hinted messages of like ants on the chest or whatever it's just it's it's a cool looking suit see on the bottom he does have peg holes 2014 made in China and yeah 
So now taking a closer look at the yellow jacket here, starting off always with the head sculpt. Really nice head sculpt, nice translucent yellow right here. Let's see, uh, can you put the first Ant-Man? No, you cannot. But the second Ant-Man, yes, you can. Um, we never really see Darren Cross take off his helmet, probably in deleted scenes or whatever concept are, but um, I think this is funny. Uh, you can see right there. Uh, if any customizers want to make a Darren Cross head sculpt, just make sure it's the same size as the second Ant-Man um, um, ball, ball hole, because uh, the first Ant-Man is a little bit smaller. Uh, but just taking a look at this suit, we've it's we've been waiting a while for a yellow jacket figure and it finally paid off because the paint job is pretty clean and the sculpting is pretty clean as well you'd see the legs here I like that honeycomb pattern on the uh, uh, thighs and the um, the shins here you see on the back more intricate details some texturing details right there you would see inside the, the uh, bicep really nice pretty basic on the back but um, nothing um, nothing that surprising it's just a lot of uh, texturing details and attaching on the backpack you could see right there some more clean paint jobs on the side you could see these little antennas and um, you can actually move them so you can move them forward like that they're on a hinge and they're just pegged onto the backpack right here and they can move back that far and on the side like so so this is what they're attached on they're just basically pegged on there and then there's a little hinge on the um, little antenna piece itself and on the uh, bottom ones here, you can rotate it uh, side to side right here. It has a hinge so it can go up and down right there. And there's also a, another joint right here, which can bend down like so. And there's a joint up here, which has a um, hinge and a rotation, which is kind of loose on mine, which is quite unfortunate. But you can get some... Uh, uh, dramatic poses here uh, if you want to for Ant-Man's articulation here starting off with the head the head does rotate all the way around it can look up that far and down that much he also has the tilty shifty head movement side to side right there the arms do rotate all the way around they go outward that far at a 90 degrees and inward that much he also has a bicep swivel which rotates all the way around, double jointed elbows right there. The wrist here, they're on a hinge so they do rotate all the way around. They bend upward that far and downward that much. And the torso here which is kind of disappointing, he crunches forward that far which is not a lot um, and back not that much and it also springs back into action for some reason. He has a race rotation. A legs can kick forward that far so we could sit down like so and he can not kick his legs back that far but he has a upper thigh swivel right here he has double jointed knees the feet here they bend downward that far and up that much and he also has the ankle pivot and doing the ankle pivot test he's good to go for Yellow Jacket's articulation here, starting off with the head sculpt and with the backpack off, head does rotate all the way around, it can look up that far, down that much, he also has the tilty shifty head movement right there, arms do rotate all the way around, they bend outward that far, more than 90 degrees, like so, and inward that much. He also has a bicep swivel which rotates all the way around, double jointed elbows right there, the wrist here, the fist it does rotate all the way around, it bends up that far and down that much, and the open end here rotates all the way around, bends up that far and down that much. Now for his torso here or 
yeah his torso has a hinge so it's on a ratchet clickety thing so it bends forward that far and back that much which is kind of disappointing uh, waist rotation all the way around legs kick forward that far so we can sit down like so right there and his legs can kick back whatsoever uh, has a upper knee rotation here double jointed knees right there now his feet here are a little bit interesting um, we rarely see these on these types of figures so you have a rotation at the whole foot here so you can rotate it all the way around you also have a hinge so you could hinge the uh, feet up like so and down like so and also you have some ankle uh, rotation like so so if you're trying to do some um, uh, wide uh, dynamic poses you can um, rotate the foot so it doesn't look awkward so just doing the ankle pivot test here you can see how well he stands now looking at the articulation with the, the backpack on here with the torso um, bending it forward no problem whatsoever but bending it back there is a problem so you can't bend it back all the way but when you do that and try to attach the backpack on it won't fit because it won't uh, rest properly on the back so you have to move it off to the side here luckily it's on a peg so you could get some weird poses here and there if you want uh, get some I don't know some creative poses if you want to but it would have been nice if there was a hinge or a ball joint um, or or this thing being permanently attached to his back would have been nice but uh, yeah that's what we get uh, but it's fine by me so taking an even closer look at Ant-Man here starting off by popping off the head right there showing some details in the neck area very clean silver paint jobs here and there uh, nothing much going on there looking inside the armpit here nothing much going on there there is some slight texturing here and there very smooth um, in some places here which looks really nice rotating the um, uh, the waist here you can see how the belt is attached it's not loose like the second Ant-Man figure which is quite unfortunate I wish they actually glued it on and moving the torso here it kind of springs back into motion which is quite unfortunate some scuffings here and there but it doesn't really bother me that much bending the elbow see how that looks on the back and then the front bending the knees rotating the legs all the way around see the feet here the calves the peg holes and pretty much it for ant-man now for the yellow jacket figure oh, this looks amazing popping off the head some sculpting details in the neck which is a nice attention to detail by Hasbro on their part in the back of the neck as well right there looks really nice and just showing you the ball hole, nothing really special. Looking at the armpit, there is some texturing inside there. The honeycomb pattern just is just amazing on this. This guy is very cleanly painted on. See, there is a little weird hole in there. You're bending it forward, rotating the waist, that's what it looks like. Moving the legs here. You can actually pop off the legs right there. It looks like just with a little force. That's what it looks like. Nothing special there. Rotating the upper um, knee rotation here, or lower knee rotation. You can see how those line up together. The back, it's very smooth. Bending the knees itself, nothing special. Looking at this special joint here, I really like this. I wish they incorporated this type of joint in more figures. When you would do the normal rotation of the ankle here and uh, having him his feet flat down, you, you would usually rotate the thigh here, but in this case you just rotate the, the, um, the ankle joint itself, which they should really do this for more figures, and that's pretty much Yellow Jacket. Yeah, that is it guys. Hope you guys like it. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, turn on notifications because there are more videos coming. Um, Captain American Crossbones 2-pack, yes. 
Uh, overall, I really do like this two pack. I like that they updated the um, head sculpt uh, for Ant Man and gave us an additional Paul Red head sculpt, a neutral head sculpt. I also like Yellow Jacket. We've been waiting for a Yellow Jacket for a long time now. So finally we got one and they did it justice as well, very clean, nice articulation, paints and sculpting as well. Um, yeah, this is just a fun 2-pack to get. It's really worth the 50 bucks uh, if you can find it. Uh, you could check local game snubs because they're having a sale. I got mine for $37. Um, so be on the lookout for that sale ends on July 31st hashtag not sponsored by GameStop um, But uh, if you can find this two pack, it is really worth getting so yeah, that is it guys Hope you guys like it air off more us. This is the sun and now peace